everybody. Today we're going to take a tour of our germination chamber. Now, this is a real gift that we got from the grocery store. This is one of the freezer compartments that you see when you, know, when you go to the grocery store. This happens to be a three bay one. And the grocery store was uh, taking it out and replacing it. And so we were able to get these for free. And what we did is we turned this into a germination chamber for our little seedlings. I can germinate up to 140 trays inside this. So let me give you a tour of what we got in here. Um, the germination chamber, because it has the shelves that, you know, we're at the grocery store, we have our shelves, and we can stack our trays as deep as we need to in here. But to make this a germination chamber instead of a freezer, we uh, cut a few air vents in the top, and then we added a couple pieces of equipment. Down here in the bottom, we added a heat mat. This is just a regular heat mat that you can get at the horticultural stores or online. And it has a thermostat that we have here. And we set this thermostat to about 70 degrees, and then uh, this piece here takes the temperature inside the chamber. And from there, we can monitor what temperature we have in the chamber. So it hangs out at about 70 degrees, which is perfect. Uh, what I do notice is that the temperature will stratify just a little bit. So we'll be a little warmer, maybe about 72 at the top, and down at the bottom will be about 65, 68 degrees, which is perfect. So what we do is we're going to germinate our peas. We put them down at the bottom because they like it cooler. And you can see the peas are just starting to come up. I'm going to leave these in here until they're about an inch tall, and then I'll take the peas out and put them in the greenhouse. On the next shelf up, this is our lettuce. And you can see the lettuce has just started to come up. There's just a little plants here. And this is the stage that we like to take the lettuce out because if we let it go too long, it gets really stretchy. And then we have trouble transplanting it. So this lettuce is ready to come out. It's been in here about six days. And then the next shelf up, we actually added a couple sets of lights. These are our T5 fluorescent lights that we use to um, grow the plants on in the wintertime. On this shelf up here, I have my tomato plants. And with the T5 lights, I can actually keep my tomato plants in the cabinet for up to two weeks. You can see these. They have been in here for, yep, exactly two weeks. And what that does is that gives them a very, very warm place to get started because tomatoes, you know, like it warm. And our greenhouses are cold this time of year. So this gives me a place where I can start the tomatoes and get them going without having to heat a great big greenhouse. Um, the lights are on a timer. They run for 16 hours a day, so the tomatoes uh, get 16 hours of light and 8 hours of dark. So all in all, this cabinet has worked fantastic for us. Uh, this one's been in service for 12 years now. No problems with it all. So if at all you can get a cabinet from your local grocery store, you can turn it into a germination chamber and have some really great results.